who that dude is or was. If you like sushi, you like raw fish, man, this is, a, this is gonna be a really good place for you to drop it. Good morning from a cloudy, rainy day here in Tokyo. So right now I'm heading to the Tsukiji Fish Market, one of the largest wholesale fish markets in Tokyo for many, many years. It actually moved recently to a new location in a part of the city called Tohoyasu or, uh, or Toyasu. And what was special about this market is that every morning from 5 a.m. is when the tuna auction would take place. And this is a wholesale market, so this is where sushi chefs and restaurateurs would come and debate, haggle, and argue over the price of different cuts of tuna, from fatty tuna or toro or medium grade fatty tuna, lean tuna. And you could walk around the market and on the floor and experience this, but they moved it in 2018 to a new location in Toyasu. And now, from what I read, you are not allowed onto the auction floor. You can still watch it, but you do it from like a standing walkway and you're looking through glass like down onto the, onto the tuna floor and it, Really just doesn't sound that great. So I'm gonna go to Tsukiji. I'm sure there's still like a decently sized market there. And I know there's a lot of good restaurants there. So that's where I'm going to get breakfast. I'm at the Shinjuku subway station now. And that's the first step is getting a subway down to the market. Tsukiji market is located in, you guessed it, Tsukiji district, which is located in Chuo city. For reference, Tokyo is really just one large mega city composed of smaller individual cities like Shinjuku or Shibuya. Lying on the banks of the Sumida River, the market is just a short metro ride away from where I'm staying in Shinjuku. Let's go. figure out how to actually get to the market. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, now I'm here. This way, it's out the uh, fish market. That way? Yeah, this way. Okay. Do you like sushi? Uh, do I like sushi? Well, it's out on this cup. Okay. Ah. All right. Thank yeah. you. Uh, US. USF? Yeah. Yeah. Have a nice day. Thank you. Yeah. It's like a map, I guess. He's giving out maps of the market. I'm trying to sell sushi, but I don't think I'm gonna get sushi right now. I had it twice yesterday. So I think what I'm gonna get now is something called kaisen don. Kaisen don is basically like a bowl of rice topped with sashimi or like uni or sea urchin or um, like salmon roe. Kaisen don is a staple at Japanese fish markets and Skiji is no exception. Basically, they are bowls of rice topped with various combinations of sashimi, uni, or fish roe. They're delicious, ubiquitous, and I need it. But first, let's do a little market exploring. This looks like the uh, outskirts of the market. This looks like the market. Humongous oysters. Already I'm seeing there are places 
<laughs> everywhere to eat. So let's go, uh, let's go this way. Fresh wasabi, which I've never seen. I've actually never seen like raw fresh wasabi. Tons of dried goods too, like just tons of dried fish, dried anchovies, many dried shrimps and whatever these are. Oh, these are actually shrimps too, these red ones. Obviously seaweed and kelp. Well, I'm trying not to get dripped on. <laughs> So you see, it's not just fish, right? They have like produce, there's even like meat, they feel like chicken and stuff. Obviously the focus is seafood, but yeah, man, they have tons of stuff here. You can also come here to drink, apparently. I don't know if you can see that or not, but these things are still moving. These clams are literally still moving, they're still alive. That is fresh. <laughs> that is like really fresh. It's actually quite large, Tsukiji. Um, and it's all outdoors like this, like it's all these separated streets. And I don't know where the actual tuna auction used to be. It was indoors, I know that. But um, I'm not exactly sure where. Um, and it's, either way, I don't think it's open to tourists anymore, like I was saying. But this whole market is all outside. And it's really nice to kind of just like walk around and... Um, Hear the vendors try to hawk their sails and eat food and it's a really nice morning spent in Tokyo for sure. Kaisen Don seems to be the specialty of the market. It's everywhere. That's what most people are selling. Like the rice bowls topped with sashimi. If you like sushi, you like raw fish, man, this is a this is gonna be a really good place for you to travel. Wow, it actually keeps, it just like kind of keeps going. So now it's time to try and find some food, actually. I want to sit down and see if I can actually find um, like a decent place to eat one of these Kaisen Don bowls, which are, like I said, everywhere in this market. Wow, they're making knives. Hello. Hi. Do you make the knives here? Yes, yes. Like if you order a knife, do you like make it by hand here? Yes, or, or hand. Oh, wow. Thank you. Okay. Definitely buying a knife before I leave Japan. All handmade knives. That's incredible. That's so cool. Although the indoor market and tuna auction moved to Toyasu several years ago, there remains a thriving venue of hawkers, fish sellers, and sushi restaurants in what is now known as the Skiji Outer Market. Skiji's Outer Market is a bustling epicenter of vendors selling fresh fish and shellfish, produce, and even ceramic goods. Restaurant hawkers vie for visitors' attention, trying to attract them into any one of the numerous sushi and sashimi restaurants Skiji is famous for. Whoa! Look at that guy! It's all uni. It's all uni, all sea urchin. It's, it's everywhere. Like, it's so easy to get here. Like, everywhere sells it. It's so wild seeing this, you know what I mean? Like coming from the United States where uni is so hard to come by, and here it's just like, it's ubiquitous, it's everywhere. So as you can see, like the market is still pretty bustling, like they don't do the tuna auction here anymore, but there's still quite a lot to see and there's definitely a lot of food. Um, and all of this fish is like really, really fresh, obviously. Like that goes without saying, I don't even need to mention it. Oh.
place looks good. Oh wow, here's a bunch. Wow. Hey. It's okay. Uh, sit here. <laughs> Thank you. This place is busy and looks pretty good. They have reasonable prices too, so let's try it out. Just in case you can't read any Japanese, they have lots and lots of pictures <laughs> for you. Like this one. So, sea urchin, uh, ikora, or salmon roe, uni, sea urchin, and tuna. And the prices, like all of the, all the places in this market sell more or less the same thing. But the prices vary widely, anywhere from like, like this is 1500 yen up to like 4000 yen for what is likely the same exact, right, like fish that's coming from the same source, right? Like I can't imagine that all of these places in the market have very different uh, sourcing, but I think it has to do with like the quantity. Um, like I don't think the uni at one place is better than the uni at another place, like within this one market, you know? Also the grade of tuna is gonna, you know, Toro or fatty tuna is gonna cost way more than like lean tuna. So that's a good price and it has two two things I definitely wanted, ikora and uni or salmon roe and seared. Mm. I'll do, uh... Okay. And that's it. There we go. Tuna, roe, sea urchin. Mm. It is actually very good though. If you struggle with chopsticks, this might be a hard place for you to be. This might be a hard dish to eat. It's not easy to eat salmon roe with chopsticks. So these are basically like my favorite things right in the world. Like raw fish, it's just so, so fantastically good. These are things I could eat three times a day, no problem. If you've never had uni before or sea urchin, I really recommend trying it. Like it is very expensive, but it has such a nice like sweet, subtle flavor. All right, so just finished up that awesome breakfast. So I'm heading out of the market now. So that's Tsukiji Fish Market. Um, like I said, it moved to its new location, like the main wholesale market moved to the new location at Toyasu, which is definitely worth checking out. But this still has like a good market vibe to it. There's a lot of food here. There's a lot to see. You can buy a lot here if you want, like, food obviously but there's also people selling knives and like trinkets and souvenirs and stuff it's like a really good uh easily like morning to spend in tokyo so all right guys so i'm gonna end this one here hope you got a good impression of what tsukiji fish market is like and if you're in tokyo definitely check it out i'll see you guys in the next one lots more content coming from tokyo and japan see ya